hello amazing people welcome to my channel if you see my channel for the first time my name is julia rack and if you're my returning subscriber you are welcome guys so today this asymmetric uh, kimono you are seeing on your screen i made it so if this is something that you're interested and in, you want to try something new so stay with me i'm going to be explaining to you on how i went about this okay so I'm going to, you're going to be needing three yards of Ankara material of your choice, okay? And uh, yeah, so let's get started. So, so on the table, I have my pattern paper that I'm, I'm going to use in replace of my fabric, okay? So I tried to use my fabric while I was drafted, uh, when I started, I, I understand that I wasn't, it wasn't showing and... Um, I wasn't getting the right explanation to do that i decided to use my pattern paper to show you how you go about it like i said earlier that you will need a three yard of ankara okay so and um the three yard of ankara you're going to divide it into two like uh, uh divide it into two which is going to become like a one and a half yard right just like you see me doing so imagine you have your three three yard of ankara and then you're going to fold it like you see me doing twice okay so the part where the shoulder is going to be is going to be on fold all right so once you fold it like that once and then you're going to fold it like just the way you see me doing right now so that you have your front and your back pattern together okay so once you have done that and then you make sure you arrange it proper you iron it in just imagine if your if it's your ankara you need to iron it so that you can be able to work with it so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to create my starting point which is going to become my shoulder remember the part that i fold is the shoulder part so remember how you are going to fold it all right so once i'm done taking my shoulder measurement like or uh, create my starting point rider right so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to start marking or take down all my measurement that i needed okay so let me label this part shoulder so that will know you will also know that this part belongs to it there okay so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to um take my round neck measurement that is my round uh, neck width is uh i'm going to be taking 2.5 inches okay so from the the shoulder line i'm going to mark down 1.5 inch for for shoulder drop okay that is a shoulder slope rather mark 1.5 inches for shoulder slope and then you're going to connect it from there to me to your neck width okay so my back neck depth i'm going to be using 1.5 inches if you're intending to use a wide band on your to pipe your kimono i will advise you to uh, mark 1.5 inches for your neck depth because if you use one inch by the time you're done you're going to realize that the the color or the band is going to be higher than your neck which is not going to be comfortable so once i'm done here i'm going to be taking my bust line measurement so let me assume this is my fabric i'm going to be taking 11 inches because um it's a free dress okay you're not supposed to just have it exactly to your bust so my bust line at this point is going to be 11 inches i'm marking seven inches here but i'm assuming that i'm marking 11 inches okay so uh i'm going to be marking my my waistline my waistline usually my half length is 16 inches okay so that is what i'm going to be marking on my fabric now we are assuming we are working on my fabric not on the pattern paper okay so my half length is 16 inches so from my shoulder to my hip line is 23 inches but here um i'm just using any number because uh this is not a fabric but i'm using this as a demo or as a tutorial sake okay so now i'm going to be connecting all this mark that i mark okay so that we can move ahead so while i was uh i did i wanted to connect my waistline and i realized that it was too it was too uh wide and it won't give me it won't enter the measurement that's supposed to so i have to reduce it back here to have 2.5 inches on the waist 
like the distance between the bust line to the hip so uh the waist remember this is no mark of fabric okay this is just to use this to show you what i actually did so don't so don't get confused so i'm imagining i'm marking my shoulder to my uh my waist which is 16 inches like i said so that is what i'm doing so i'm reducing all the measurement also so that it can enter the measurement i want so that i should be able to um mark what i want to mark or uh, yeah just just imagine i'm working with my fabric okay like i said earlier from my shoulder to my hip line is 23 from my shoulder to my waistline is 16 inches from my shoulder to my boss is 11 inches okay so don't get it messed up okay so now i have leveled them my hip my boss and my 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 waistline also my shoulder so i'm trimming off this rough edges so that it won't i won't get you guys messed up or you won't get confused what is supposed to happen at the end okay so that's why i i trim this part off so that i can properly explain to you so that you can also understand understand what is it so right now i'm going to be working on my hip measurement because my hip is the largest part of my body so uh, for my ankara material i'm going to be marking uh, 10 inches which is my my round hip circumference right so my round hip circumference divided by four is going to be 10 then i'm going to be adding additional three inches to that measurement because i don't want my kimono to be very uh, fuller because i realized that when your kimono is too fuller you will not um it will not fit okay so i the same uh, measurement i mark so my 10 inches plus 3 inches that is a uh, 13 so that same 13 inches is what i marked on my bust uh, line okay so now and then i connect it from that part to me to my hip line so from my hip line did you see the way i place my my ruler right i didn't place it straight rather i made it uh slightly like a a line kind of cutting right so this is what you're going to be doing when you're trying to get that asymmetric uh, cutting because if you make it uh straight you are not going to get that kind of effect it's going to be somehow anyway this is my first try but i figured out that this is the best way for me to do it okay so now the next thing that i'm going to be taking my my normal uh kimono length okay that uh the short one okay the short part so you're going to determine how how high or how low you want want it to be for me i'm going to be marking 34 inches on my ankara material okay so i'm repeating this line so that i can have this straight line connected to the um, the other uh, side like just like you see me doing okay i extend this line outward for a reason okay you need to extend the line so that uh by the time you're going to work uh, with another side you should be able to know where your how the short line is going to be so now the next thing now i'm going to do i'm going to connect it slightly just like the way you see me demonstrating okay so i'm going to connected like that so at this point now you're going to determine how wide this part is going to be that is the lower part or the asymmetric part okay you're going to determine how wide it's going to be so i was trying to see if i can take a measurement but i realized that this part doesn't need a measurement it's something you just have to work you just have to work with how you want it to be okay so initially i i mark uh uh, five inches but I, I i didn't use it anymore so i just have to use my free hand to connect it just like you see me doing like that i hope this explanation was clear to you okay so once you're going to do that so you're going to be making a notch so cut it out first before you make a notch so i i made a notch here first but after when i cut it i realized i was not supposed to make a notch right now right now you don't you don't need to make a notch right now but i will also repeat it when after i have cut the excess fabric that i don't need okay so once you have done here you're not going to cut everything immediately okay once you have done taking all your measurements we are done from here now 
so i'm going to be adding uh, the joining allowance from my shoulder okay you need to add 0 0.5 inch joining allowance from your shoulder so that you can join both your back and your front piece together just like you see me doing right now okay please let me know in the comment section if you don't understand this explanation okay or rewatch it as you can see i'm not fast forwarding this video so that you can also follow up and understand exactly what i'm doing so what i'm doing here i'm adding a joining allowance of 0 0.5 inch by the time i don't cut it out okay so this is exactly what you're going to do on your main fabric so now we are going to start by cutting all the unwanted part that we don't need okay so just pay attention and see the part where i'm cutting out from all right so now that i'm done cutting it so now i'm going to open it just like you see me doing okay please pay attention here this is really 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 necessary okay so uh i realized that i did not uh, the notch that i made before i cut the excess out it was wrong so i have to refold it back again so that i can get the the actual line where my the the shorter part of my kimono is going to be okay remember i extended this line outside okay yeah at that point so now is the time that you need to make a notch okay you're not supposed to make a notch while you are still having those excess by the side so this is the time you need to make a notch so you i'm going to be notching this part make sure you hold your fabric together make sure your fabric the both front and the back is together then you now may make that notch on that point there okay so now once i'm done making that notch there i'm not going to open it so that we can do all the remaining uh, alteration okay so now i'm going to open it like you see me doing like this and then i'm going to get my french cover roller and then i'm going to place it just like you see me doing okay i'm going to place it right on that point to connect uh, to connect it to me to the other side just like that okay and then i'm also repeating the joining allowance which i added for the other part this is how it's going to look like okay it's going to look like this so the next thing now i'm going to cut it all the way I'm, like just like the way you see it look like now this is how you're going to go about it so now i'm going to trim off the excess from this side all the way to where the asymmetric design is okay i'm cutting both the front and the back together so don't make the mistake by taking out one side so make sure the back the front and the back is placed together just like this okay so this is exactly what you're going to do on your fabric so this is how it's going to look like you know it look a little bit kind of funny here because the the paper is not long but if you're doing it direct to your fabric you're going to see the beauty of it so the 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 length for the one side is the full length of your dress why the the one side is the short length of your dress okay so now i'm going to label this one actually i label it on the wrong side but when you're working on your fabric so i was not supposed to label it this way but remember when you're working on your fabric make sure you know the right and the wrong side of your fabric so that you will not go and do the same mistake <laughs> that i did here okay so yeah so this is my back pattern i label it my back pattern and then here is my front pattern also i'm going to label it front before we, we are going to separate it okay so this is my front pattern and yeah i hope you're learning something from this channel today if you do please don't give uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly do so and uh, don't forget to turn on your post notifications for you not to miss out okay so the next thing now i'm going to uh cut out the front neck that's the yeah the front okay so now it depends how deep you want to have the v uh, shape on your kimono so this is how you're going to place your pattern your french curve or you can use your free hand to make this connection like that okay so once i'm done 
tracing out the part where i'm going to cut out now the next thing now i'm going to separate my front pieces you know kimono has three pieces okay the front usually come in two pieces and then the back is just one so that is what i'm doing right now so once i'm done now i'm going to cut out this excess that i don't need from the front and yeah this is my kimono and this is how it's going to look like okay so uh the breeze has took it away <laughs> actually uh i i owned the fan because everywhere was so hot so i had to so that's why you see that the breeze is blowing yeah so now let me separate it let me uh place it on the table so that you can see how it's going to look like okay so this is how it is and oh god the breeze is not letting me do what i'm supposed to do so this is how when you're going to join it you're going to place the right side on uh, the the back and the front piece like this okay you make sure you place it rightly the side that have the asymmetric it has to be where it's supposed to be and the part that has the short part has to be where it should be okay so this is how it's going to look like so um when i'm going to join it on my fabric okay basically this is how it's going to look like i'm going to join my shoulder the both shoulder together okay join it with 0 0.5 that's my front and my back piece just like you see me doing where i'm pointing my hand okay then i'm going to move on to join the side the both side first okay you need to do that first before you start taking your band measurement so once you're done take a uh, join them then you're going to take your take this measurement round to determine how long you need to cut your band okay so move on to the side okay this part where you see me touching you are going to take the measurement separate okay you're cutting the band from this part separate and then you move on to the other side here where i'm touching you also take this measurement separate you take it round to the asymmetric part okay so to determine the the length of the band you need to cut out okay so yeah so guys this is the, the material that i'm going to be using for this tutorial here is my black material that i'm going to be using for my neck piping or for my neck band or my kimono band yeah so i have my scissors my chalk and my ruler my tape that i'm going to be using to take my measurement and uh, here is my fabric this is three yard of ankara okay i've already arranged everything and the width is 22.5 inches on fold okay so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be taking my my starting point so that is what i'm doing i'm marking my starting point which is going to become my my shoulder line okay for my shoulder line i'm going to be taking 2.5 inches for my neck width and 1.5 inches for my neck depth okay i'm going to connect this part here so to create my neck my neck off so move on to my shoulder line i'm going to mark 1.5 inches for shoulder slope okay so that is what i'm doing i mark 1.5 inches for shoulder slope and i'm going to connect that line from there to meet to my neck width so the next measurement i'm going to be taking is my bust line from my shoulder to my bust line is 11 inches and um, i'm going to repeat the measurement twice so that i can have an accurate line so you all know me i always do this to have an accurate line so the next measurement to be taken is my my waistline which is 16 inches like i said earlier okay so here is my 16 inches take your measurement find out where your your waistline is and then you take your measurement okay so the next i'm going to the next measurement i'm going to be taking is from my shoulder to my hip line so i'm taking 23 inches from my shoulder to my hip line is 23 inches so the next i'm going to connect all these markings okay so once i'm done connecting this marking i'm going to start imputing my uh, horizontal measurement like i said earlier i'm going to be using my widest part of my body which is my round hip circumference 
So my rank in circumference is uh, divided by four is uh, is ten. Then I added three inches. That is thirteen. So the thirteen inches I repeated on my bust line. Then I make that connection over there. Okay. So I'm going to use my French curve ruler like you see me doing, and then I'm going to connect it to me to my my hip line. Okay. So. So I'm going to get my long steel ruler to connect it from my hip line just like you see me doing on a a line shape way okay just like you see me doing like that like i explained earlier okay you're not going to cut connect it straight rather make an a line so on this part now i'm taking my my short kimono dress the length which i said earlier that was 34 inches okay so i'm going to repeat the same measurement so that i can have a straight line so that is what i'm doing so once I'm done, I'm satisfied with the length I want, then I'm going to connect it like that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be uh, connecting it with the, the, either the curve shape or uh, as for this point, I will advise you to not cut too deep, just like you see me doing. You're going to just connect it slightly from the center front okay just connect it slightly from the maybe you mark like two inches from there then you connect it all the way to the to the side where the asymmetric part is okay so what i'm doing here um i added a 0 0.5 inch for to join my shoulder together just like i explained for the first video that i made okay so this one i'm i'm still just repeating the same thing that i've talked about so that a lot of people will get confused they will not understand what i did so that is why i'm repeating the process here so uh once i'm done here i'm going to repeat the same measurement here okay so i'm going to be adding my 0 0.5 so i'm extending this line out for the other side so that when i open it i should be able to see where i supposed to cut out okay so like i said on the previous video that you need to make a notch okay make a notch there so that you will know where you need to cut out from the, this side just like you see me doing okay i just spread it now so this notch now that i made is going to be easy for me now to get my steel ruler and place it right that point there and then i'm going to connect it to meet to the part where i made the notch okay so basically uh, this is how it's going to be um, once i'm done i'm going to cut it like this okay just like i did on the previous video i'm going to cut it out just like that and then once i'm done i'm going to arrange it proper so that i can work on my front space so once i get the front neckline cut out i'm going to separate it and then i will go and join it on my sewing machine and do the necessary things i need to do okay so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly do so and don't forget to turn on your post notification so that you will not miss out on my next tutorial okay i'm going to try as much as i can so that i can be dropping a video time to time that has something actually is happening to me so i will give you guys update about that <laughs> it's a good news though i will keep you guys update about this um yeah thank you so much for your support and for your patience that have not been updating you guys okay but for sure i'm going to try my best to keep you guys updated okay so um with that being said uh i'm not going to be showing you how to sew this part it is kimono but i hope with my explanation you should be able to understand how to uh cut your uh, your asymmetric or kimono asymmetric uh, kimono okay so now as i'm arranging it now i'm going to head to my sewing machine the right side fitting the right side like that i'm going to head to my sewing machine and join my piece together to turn it to a beautiful dress okay so thank you so much for watching thank you so much i will see you on my next tutorial okay have a blessed day and stay blessed bye